last Sunday here at Trinity, we sang a hymn titled, Lord of all nations, grant me grace. And I'm going to read a, a few lines from that hymn. It reads, Lord of all nations, grant me grace to love all people, every race. And in each person may I see my kindred loved, redeemed by thee. My neighbor's good, let me pursue. Let Christian love bind warm and true. In this hymn, we're asking for God's help in our calling to live at peace with all people. We're asking for God's help in our calling to imitate the sacrificial love of Christ. We love because He first loved us and gave him Himself for us on the cross. We're asking for God's help in putting into practice what Moses wrote in Leviticus chapter 19, love your neighbor as yourself. And what Paul wrote in Romans chapter 12, as much as it depends on you, live at peace with all. As the 4th of July fireworks and celebrations fall silent for another year, putting this hymn and its teachings into practice is one of the best things that you can do to continue bringing healing and unity to our nation. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, God of all concord, it is your gracious will that your children on earth live together in harmony and peace. Defeat the plans of all those who would stir up violence and strife. Destroy the weapons of those who delight in bloodshed. And according to your will, end all conflicts in our land. Teach us to examine our hearts, that we may recognize our own inclination toward envy, malice, hatred, and enmity. Help us, by your word and spirit, to search our hearts and to root out the evil that would lead to strife and discord, so that, in our lives, we may be at peace with all people. Fill us with zeal for the work of your church and the proclamation of the gospel of Jesus Christ, which alone can bring that peace which is beyond all understanding. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen.